Hey everyone, so I thought I'd make a video here in Villa Hermosa where I'm staying, the little neighborhood I'm staying in. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to show you guys just a regular Mexican neighborhood. Nothing too fancy, nothing too not fancy. Just a regular Mexican neighborhood. And I'll also show you the place where I'm staying at. So let's go take a look. So I'm not promoting Airbnb or anything like that, but I really think that it's cool that you can find a place in just a regular average neighborhood wherever you go traveling throughout the world. The really cool thing about that is that you're able to be immersed in the culture a lot more than you would be just staying at some corporate hotel or even like a budget backpacker hotel. Staying in places like this through Airbnb or whatever other site that you might use you're really immersed in the local culture and I just think it's really cool. It's really fascinating and fun to explore around these different neighborhoods and see just like what life is like for an average person in Villa Hermosa. And I just think that that's awesome. You just get to experience life just like somebody from this part of Villa Hermosa would. They have Circle K here and they have Oxo and 7-Eleven and all that. But here in Mexico, the corner stores are thriving. They're being put out of business also by like 7-Eleven and all the big corporate chains like Oxo or 7-Eleven. But every neighborhood almost, it seems, has like a little corner store, which is really handy, really convenient. And for the people that are operating them, it's a nice way to make a little extra cash. All right, so here she has the promotions and then right in front of us is a store here. But on Tuesday, they have the empanadas, Wednesday, tostadas, and salbutes. I don't know what a salbute is. If you know in the comments, let me know. Thursday, hot dogs, pretty easy, and some french fries or fries or potatoes, some sort. Friday, tortas, like a sandwich. Sabado, tamales, mmm. And so what is today? Today is Wednesday, tostada or salbutes. Eh, there's a vegetarian restaurant I want to check out tonight. But uh, awesome, you can get a little food here and then whatever else you need at the store. So let's see if they have a Diet Coke. Hola. Buenas. Buenas. Want a Coca Light? Coca se da de nada más tengo Coca normal. De normal agua? Agua, sí. ¿Cuánto es? Doce. Diez, doce. Gracias. A usted. Okay, so I'll go and show you guys where I'm staying, the Airbnb, which is the purple house right here. And I think it came out in the video I made previously here in Villa Hermosa, but I don't think I showed you guys inside. So today I'll show you guys inside the Airbnb. Airbnb. And we got the binks as usual. Ooh. It's windy. You turn on some lights. So just to give, give you guys a quick look. A little kitchen. 
So it's obviously a little bit more than I was paying in Ciudad del Carmen. But the place I was paying in Ciudad del Carmen was only $14 a night. So it's not too difficult to pay more than $14 a night. A little outdoor area. And that's it. The bedroom. There's actually two bedrooms. The This bedroom here, which she opened up for me, which I'm going to sleep in tonight. It's completely dark in there. You can't see anything. Uh, she opened up that bedroom because the air conditioning in here wasn't working. And I'm a very... I need my air conditioning, at least at night. During the day, I don't use it. But at night, it's nice to have the air conditioning. So, anyway, that's going to be all for today. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm going to Tuxtla Gutierrez on Thursday. Yes, Thursday. And I'll be there for three weeks, make some videos, hang around, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>